Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today I'll be going over activation and configuration of the in-place records management feature in SharePoint 2010. First, a few comments around records management. So in SharePoint Server 2010, a record is a document or other electronic entity in an organization that can provide evidence of an action or transaction that the organization performs. Records must be retained for a given period of time. Records management is the process in which you consider which kind of information should be declared as records, uh, decide how it should, uh, how regular documents should be handled, and then maybe later on become records, decide how and how long to retain each record type to comply with your legal business requirements, and perform routine tasks on your records, such as uh, disposing the records when they become expired. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm over at a SharePoint site, just a, I picked a SharePoint site collection, and I'm going to go under Site Actions, Site Settings. We're going to go under Site Collection Features. So this is configured at the Site Collection level. So Site Collection Features. You're going to notice that one of the options in here is In Place Records Management. We're going to go ahead and activate that. And then we're going to go back to Site Collection Administration. You're going to notice now under Site Collection Administration, there is a Record Declaration setting. And then under Record Declaration Availability, we're going to say Available on all locations by default as opposed to Not Available. And then we're going to go ahead and click OK. And uh, that's about it. Let's switch over to a shared document. And let's just upload a document in here. So we'll pick the uh, HR document and click OK. And then here, you're going to notice now, since it's available all over the place under Compliance Details, you can declare this. So this is when you decide, OK, because it's in this stage, now we're going to declare this as a record. And we're going to say Close. And this becomes a record now. And then you could define, um, uh, you could define um, retention policies based on that you could uh, you could uh, move the content to a different location based on uh, metadata values etc but this is the process for how we uh, configure the in-place records management in SharePoint 2010 thanks for listening in and until next time